Hey guys, welcome back to my video series on how to sell your car like a pro for the most money possible with the least amount of hassle. In this video, I am going to go over the retail marketing of your vehicle. This is the final step in selling a vehicle. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, let's go and uh, get to it. Pillar number four, retail marketing. Now this is probably the most important thing once you have You've got a nice clean car. You have done your research. You know you're gonna price the vehicle good. You've checked with the repairs. You've changed the oil. The car, it's ready to sell. Now, I see a ton and tons and tons of people and I look at a lot of cars for sale and I see them make these mistakes over and over and over and over again. And for me personally, I love it because that's my competition and I crush them. And this is how I do it. First thing, most people that are shopping for a car are going to look at your photos. Nine out of ten people, when they take photos of the car, they get lazy. They go out, they take their camera, they click a quick shot here, a quick shot there, and they post it up and that's just great. Well, that's great for your competition. It's not great for you. What you want to do is you want to go and see what's the best angles and what looks the best in your car. And a tip that I tell all my friends when they ask how to sell their car on their own, go online, Google up the year, make, model your car. Say it's, a, we're going to say a 2000 Toyota Camry, for example, something kind of random. There is a brochure that Toyota made for that exact car. They spent thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars, and all kinds of research making the brochure for that car. Look at where they took the photos, look at the angles, go out and duplicate them to the best of your ability. Make your car look like it was on the brochure. That little tiny tip right there makes a big difference when people are scrolling, they're swiping, they're scrolling, they're looking for cars. When they see a photo of a nice clean car that's from the right angles, they'll stop and look at it because they're looking at three or four or five different ones and they'll know that someone took the time to present the car in a good light. And someone who would present the car in a good light probably took good care of the car. Probably it's a nicer vehicle than the guy that just walked outside with his camera, took a two second snap and wants to get the most money out of his car. I love that guy. Don't be that guy. Another thing, I just it just drives me absolutely insane. People hold their camera out and put their thumb over the license plate so people can't see the license plate. For God's sakes, it's four screws. Take the screws out, take the license plates off, take the photos of the cars, and then put it back on. It's really that simple, okay? Good photos sell cars, poor photos cost you money. The next thing that you need to do after you've got good photos is write a really great description. Paint a picture in those words of what that vehicle is going to look like, what it's going to feel like to drive. Make it sound like you really love that car, like it's the best car that you've ever owned in your entire world. You'll hear people say, yeah, I bought this car from these people and they were, they bought it and they loved it and they cared for it. Well, that's because the people, when they were selling that car to those people, they told them that story. Write your description like a story. Make it sound like you love this car. Just because it's an old car to you doesn't mean anything because it's going to be a new car to them. So make them fall in love with it with your description. Okay, another tip, never ever consign your car or park it on a park and sell lot or somewhere where there's a whole lot of cars for sale. All that does is help out your competition by having a nice vehicle on the lot, people drive by, they see it, they stop, they walk around, they look at it, 
And then while they're looking at that one, well, they're looking at the other 25 cars sitting there at the same time. You don't need to help your competition. And there are a lot of better ways to market your car than to park it in with a whole bunch of people. What I do, instead of parking a car like that, if I don't, you know, I understand I have a car lot and I have some advantages there. So if you don't, use Facebook Marketplace. List it on Craigslist. Put it on, you know, your local buy-sell groups. If you look at Facebook, there's probably a hundred online yard sales, buy-sell groups of all different kinds. Put your car in there. Market it those in those areas. Don't market it anywhere else because that's the place that it will sell. And probably if you are followed all these tips and you're sitting there and you just cannot sell your car, it doesn't seem like anybody wants to buy it, you probably missed one of those four steps. And I'm gonna tell you right now, usually the price is not the problem. It's usually the reconditioning of the car, it's not clean enough, it has a funky smell, it has a repair issue that, you know, it need, it's got, the tires are nearly bald, it needs a set of tires. Whatever those things are, I never tell anybody, discount the price first. Go back through the process and look and say, man, my car's not selling, I wonder why, and look at it really close, and if it says, wow, I've got a big hunk out of the front bumper, maybe this is it, then you could consider either, hey, replace the front bumper, or now I wanna lower the price because I know that bumper is a problem. But don't start with price. Don't just start cutting the price, cutting the price, cutting the price, because you could cut the price to zero. And if a car still looks bad, drives bad, sounds bad, no one will buy it. So go back to the beginning, start over with your reconditioning, go back to your research, and I bet you you'll find the problem and you'll sell that car fast. You'll make a lot of money doing it and it'll be an enjoyable experience. So good luck to you. Have fun selling.